we've spent a few days here in Owensboro. Now I'm checking out of the hotel. Gotta get old Red started. I start her every day, even when I'm off, just to keep it, you know, keep her uh, running every day. So, gonna get loaded and get her fired up, and then we'll get out of Owensboro. Everywhere you go, you gotta load up all your luggage and it's part of traveling. I enjoy it. You know, you gotta get some exercise in. Let's fire her up. <laughs> She turns right over. I gotta let the airbags fill up. Now we just gotta return this cart. It'd be actually handy to have a little cart like this. I don't know where I'd haul it, how I'd haul it around though. If I owned my own trailer like the flatbedders do, I could carry a bunch of stuff around. But when you have a van, you know, like a company van, like what I drive, you can't do that. All right, we're ready to roll. I just checked and I got my reset in. For those of you new to trucking or don't know what that means, every trucker, two days a week, we have to take off 34 hours. And that has to be between the hours of 1 and 5 a.m. The break has to include those time periods, so. I've kind of been stalling here waiting for 5 a.m. West Coast time, which is my the time that I operate off of. So I got my uh, my break in. I'm very happy about that. I have a full 70 hours to roll now this week. We're gonna run over to Panera Bread because they have the best coffee in town. In my opinion. And I can fit my tractor over there. I'm a big fan of coffee, and they have the great coffee. Well, we're finally loaded here in Owensboro, Kentucky. And we're out of here. Gotta let this guy go around us. See, he did a rolling stop. Let there be hysteria on YouTube about that. And what we have 
have is a load going down to our good old town of Atlanta, 422 miles from here. So let's get her done. off in Atlanta and after I dropped off in Atlanta I got a trip up to Virginia and so I went up there and wouldn't you know I ended up at a dog food factory in Virginia and started loading there this is what happened in Virginia I've been at this company for five hours just waiting Every once in a while the truck will shake, so I know they're working on it, but the pallets must be clear across the, the whole uh, plant because literally they do like one pallet and then about 30 minutes later they do another pallet. So maybe they're picking the order as they do it, I'm, I'm not really sure. shaking they're doing one <laughs> now I should time it with you guys just so you can see if I'm accurate all right we'll time this one well it's been 10 minutes since the last one So I'm not exaggerating. I was kind of thinking if I turned the camera back on, they would another pallet would come out. But it hasn't worked. You guys aren't good luck. <laughs> I'm sitting over here because the sun's on the other side of the truck. And I'm trying to save money by not idling. So I'm sitting over here in the shade. Oh, there goes one. It's re okay. It really was 15 minutes since the last time I turned the camera on. So it really is 15 minutes. Why would it take 15 minutes to go get a pallet? I don't understand that. There must be a reason. Well, it took them six hours. That's almost a record. I'm out of here. Going to North Carolina. We're in Virginia right now. So, man, it makes you stressed when you have to wait this long. Let's get out of here. Well, finally getting out of here. says how relaxing it is to wait, but it's not relaxing. In zero point two miles, turn left on Halifax Road, U.S. Because Park you're, uh, you know, you're in, you're anticipating getting on, getting out of here. So for me, I don't find it relaxing. Waiting and waiting and waiting for six hours. Your left hunt, Halifax Road. That's the US dark Apple. side of trucking. I, a lot of you guys write me and say I only present the positive, and I try to be positive, but there are days where it's negative. Today's a negative day. <laughs> yeah, I can still laugh. Hopefully 
we won't hit a lot of traffic. But it is a Friday afternoon, so. Continue on this road for 3.3 miles. like this six hours if I were going from here to LA Virginia to LA that wouldn't be anything but this is a 200 mile load I usually don't do these little ones but today I did but now we need to put that behind us and get rolling ahead hey after that I I did. They finally finished unloading or loading my truck there in Virginia. I got a load out of there even though it took them so long to load. I don't understand that, but I'd like to thank you for riding along with me this time. I'm Indiana Jack, and remember to hit subscribe before you leave my page today. And also, if you go into the inner settings of YouTube, Click the button that says that you want to receive notification when I put out a new film or video and then you'll get that notification right in your email box. Thanks for riding along with me. I'm Indiana Jack. Trucking really is an adventure.